Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-domination.com. Today in this lecture, we will be talking about constructor with inheritance. Okay, so in the previous lectures, we discussed about what is constructor. And in the last lecture, we also discussed about what is inheritance. But today we will be combining both of the topics and we'll see how constructor will behave when we talk about inheritance. Okay, so again, it's a part of polymorphism. So in case if you haven't seen that video, then I will link these two videos in the description. So please go ahead and watch in case if you haven't. And let's get started with the constructor with inheritance. So I have created already a Python file inheritance demo six, and I will be creating multiple classes just to show you how this constructor will behave when we have multiple classes. Okay. So what I will do, I will create a new class, let's say same ABC class, or you can create child class based class, whatever you name. So I will say, let's say uh, class A and in class A, I'm just going to create a constructor. Okay. So again, I will say def space underscore underscore in it. And I will simply say a print statement. Okay. And I will simply say I am in class A. Okay. Now that's all I need in this class. So I'm going to create another class called class B and I will be inheriting class A. So this is how we inherit in parenthesis. I will be giving class A, which I want to inherit colon. And now hit enter and I will be creating another constructor for class B. Again, I will say underscore underscore in it underscore underscore and our constructor for class B is ready here. Also, I will just give a print statement and I will simply say I am in class B. Okay. Now let's do one thing. Let's create object of class A. Okay. So what I will say, I will say OBG one equal to A. That says how we create object, right? So right now I'm not doing anything and we don't have anything actually. We just have two constructor, one in class A, one in class B. So let me simply run this Python program and we'll see the output. The moment you run, you can see the moment we create object class A constructor is getting invoked automatically and we are getting I am in class A, right? Now, what if I say OBJ2 or maybe I can directly change it now. Okay. I will just create object of class B. So in this case, you can see the moment I run this program, it says I am in class B. So this is how constructor work when you have inheritance. Okay. Now, whenever you create object of class B, it will only call the constructor from class B. Okay. It will not call class A constructor. So in case if you want to call class A constructor, you need to call explicitly and how you can do that. So similar thing we have seen uh, in inheritance with methods, right? Same thing you can do here. So let's say I reached here. Okay. Now before calling this print statement, I just want to call class a constructor. How can I do that? I will simply say class a dot and I will just call in it again method, which is nothing but a constructor of class a. Okay. And I will simply pass self. So what will happen now if you run this program automatically class B constructor will be invoked, which is this, right? And what we are saying, first of all, invoke class A constructor. So it will come here and it will say I am in class A. Once it is done, it will say I am in class B and it will run. So you can see before printing class B, it says I am in class A. So this is how you can call class A constructor from class B. So in the last video, we also discussed about super function. So same thing we can do here. So if you don't want to say in this way, what you can do, you can simply say, okay, let me just comment it out and I will simply say super and I will just say dot and you can see again, I'm getting underscore underscore in it, which is nothing but constructor. So what I'm saying super means the base class. So before running this, it is going to the base class, which is nothing but a and it will call the constructor. So again, you will get the same output. It is just instead of giving the class name, then dot I'm just calling a super function dot in it. I hope it is clear now. So either you go with this or you go with this. So this is how the constructor will work with inheritance. So in the last uh, video, somebody has commented that what if I have three classes? Okay. So let's do one thing. Let's create one more class and see how it will work. 
So for the time being, again, I will comment this. I'm creating a separate class called class C. So this is again multi-level inheritance. C will be inheriting B. B is inheriting A. Okay. So I will say C is a class which is inheriting class B. So again, this time I will create one more constructor and I will say same I am in class C. Okay. Now I'm not calling super or I'm not calling this base class constructor. Simply I will change this to class C objects. So OBG one is object of class C. This time if I run, I'm getting only I am in class C because all the classes have same constructor now. Now from class C, if I want to call class A constructor, what I will say A dot underscore underscore in it and I will pass self. So before calling this statement, it will call the constructor of class A. Yeah. Now if, what if I want to call B that is also possible Just say B dot and then again underscore underscore in it underscore 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 and pass the self. So now it will call class A constructor, then class B constructor, then definitely class C constructor. Now about super, this is what we are saying, go to or call constructor from class A. But what if I say super, okay? So super function and if I say dot in it. Now the question come, will it call constructor from class A or from class B? So let's run it and you will you can easily predict the output so when we say super super means it is going to call the constructor of its base class so c is inheriting actually class b right so super will represent now class b so it will call the constructor of class b and then it will continue with the class a okay which is this statement now what if i want to call again super from here will it work yes definitely so what I'm saying, when I say super, definitely it will go to class B constructor, which is this. And again, from here, I will say super dot in it, which is again constructor of class A. Why? Because B is inheriting class A. So it will say I'm in class A, then I'm in class B. And finally, it will say I'm in class C. Yeah, you can see we got the output. So super will always represent it's oh, it's a uh, base class okay so when i say super if i if you have multi level inheritance it will just go to its own base class so right now you will not understand the real use case okay but hold on for a few more sessions once you start selenium we will be using this kind of examples okay and once you start the framework right in the framework also we will be using the super function and this constructor a lot so that's all for this session i hope you enjoyed this session and in case if you're new to this channel then please make sure you subscribe this channel hit the like button share with your friends and let me know if you have any question in the comment section have a nice day bye bye